Yo, what's going on homies? It's your boy Donny here from Inspire Training. And in today's video, we're going to be going over three things that you might not be doing for muscle growth. Just to clarify that this is coming from my own personal experience working with clients. And these are just little things that I notice that people do not do while aiming for this goal. So number one is monitoring your volume, i.e. your reps. So every individual is very much different and certain volumes of reps work best for others. So me, for example, I tend to really like the 12 to 15 rep range. It seems to work a lot better for me. However, some individuals can very easily work between the 8 and the 10 or the 8 to 12. Or some other individuals have to go way beyond 15 just to get the right volume for themselves. But in order for you to find out which volume works for you, you've got to start monitoring how many reps you go for. And from there, test it up pretty much for about maybe two to three weeks. See if you get some results. And if you don't, amp it up a bit more and see if that makes a change. So pretty much once you find out what kind of volume you like, you can start working on and, and applying the loads that work for you as well while targeting these reps. Number two is the tempo of the reps, specifically the way down or the eccentric phase of the movement. So let's take, for example, bicep curls. Bicep curls, the eccentric movement is the way down. So in order to stimulate the most stress or the most time under tension, you would basically go a lot slower on the way down. Aim to maybe go for like three to four seconds on the way down. Five seconds is pretty hard to do for every single rep. So every single rep, you go one up, five seconds coming all the way down. And then you repeat the process all over again on top of the volume that you set yourself after, regardless if it's eight, 10, 12, whatever. Try and do that and see how much of a difference that makes. That extra time on attention, by the time you maybe get to like maybe six, eight, second, third set, you are burning. That's how far basically you got to push your body to get that muscle growth stimulation. You got to push it to pretty much borderline fatigue, if not total fatigue. That is enough cause for the body to adapt and make the change to grow that muscle. Just bear in mind that this is not an easy tempo to execute. Five seconds is pretty hard. So maybe start yourself first with maybe three seconds, four seconds if you can, and then work from there. Make them a bit longer. I would say you probably won't have to go any further than five. However, if you are uh, brave enough, you can try and go for more if you want to. And finally, number three, mixing compound exercises with isolation exercises. Now, let me elaborate on that one. So compound exercises are your bench presses, your bent over rows, your pull-ups, your squats. Your isolation exercises are more specific to a muscle group. So for example, bicep curls is very specific just to the biceps themselves. Secondary might be your forearm a little bit, but primarily it's your biceps. Whereas when you do a pull-up, it's primarily a big muscle group and several joints at the same time. The reason why you should mix the two together is basically compound exercises involve multiple joints working at the same time, meaning you hit several areas at the same time and you hit the biggest muscle groups normally. Isolation exercises, you can be a bit more specific on areas you wanna work on. So that's why you gotta mix the both up together. Remember that isolation exercises also involve the muscles that you don't primarily see as well, such as the rotator cuffs or the stabilizers of the back, the hips, etc. Those small muscles are just as important as the big primary movies of your body. So just make sure you are doing both compound and isolation and working on those small stabilizers as well. Anyways, I hope you found this video insightful in some way. Feel free to let me know down in the, in the comment down below just to let me know. Anyways, I hope you found this video insightful. Feel free to comment down below just to let me know on how things went with you and which one of them you tried or if you tried all three. Don't forget as well to subscribe and like the video as well as this helps, out. This helps me out a lot with the algorithm. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.